Welcome to the first Trackmania Turbo Trackmaster tutorial. This series will be featuring events in the campaign mode where I was able to get the Trackmaster medal on, meaning the highest medal possible other than just downright being first in the world. I think it gives you a different medal apparently, but I'm not that good, but I'm decent enough to be able to get the highest medal everyone but the absolute best can get. So I figured I'd go ahead and do tutorials on the ones that I was able to do that. I don't know for sure how many of these there will be because in between recording sessions I may be able to get another one that I didn't have before doing this recording. But I know for sure there's at least going to be 13 of these because I have 13 medals. So anyway, I'll go ahead and get right into it. This particular course is number 01. This is on the canyon version with the well on modified car, wheel and well on, I don't really know how to pronounce but that's pretty much what this car is. And this is the very first challenge. It's actually not as easy as it sounds even though it's the very first one and actually this was one of the harder ones for me to get the track master on. So I'll go ahead and go into the tutorial. These videos in general will be shorter than this one. This one's more explaining what's going on. Most videos I'll just go right into it pretty much. But anyway, go right into it now. For this bit, apparently there's an air brake strategy from what I've seen online. But I've yet to really have it do anything. Apparently if you hold the brakes while in the air in a certain bit, you can gain like a millisecond or two. But realistically, unless you're going for the very top time in the world, it's not worth doing. And if you're going for the very top time in the world, this video won't really help you. If you're going for just Trackmaster, this may help you. But anyway, for the first bit of this course, is it is a chicane, so you want to get as close to the barriers there as possible without hitting them. That way you can carry as much momentum as possible and use as least track as possible. For this turn, it is full throttle. One thing that I noticed about this game in general, again, as I said in my review of it, it wants to be a simulator in some ways. It actually has simulation physics in terms of if you go in with a wider line, you carry more speed, and it actually ends up being faster in a full throttle turn to use a wider line, even though you're using up more track. So, okay, this is a turn in which that applies to. So go pretty wide into it. Go as wide as you are once you exit the saccanes. You don't really need to turn out anymore. Just stay where you are and then turn in. Turn in as far enough to not hit that wall. But be on the rumble strip. The rumble strips are perfectly fine to use in this game. No big deal. With any car. And then once you exit this turn, this bit is pretty easy. Just for a throttle. For going into the jump... You want to be on the left side, but not completely to the left. Because this bit here slopes down, so if you're completely to the left, you're actually going to hit that. Again, this is number 01, the very first one, and it already has a whole heck of a heap of things that can make you mess up. Trackmania Turbo is a hard game. So that pretty much means get as far to the left as possible without hitting that thing, so that way you can get a better run into the next turn. As far as landing the jumps, it's not that hard. As long as you take the jump going straight, you're going to land it perfectly fine. And I don't think there's any air brake while in a jump. I think it might just be at the beginning. But again, if you want to try the air brake thing, look for world record laps. What's the same that? There are plenty of them, though, on YouTube. This, as far as I know, this is actually the only true tutorial where I'm, like, saying stuff out. But anyway, for this turn, it's close to full throttle, but not quite. This is probably the most important section of the track because it's the hardest bit. Let off the throttle a little bit so that way you start drifting. This is where it's kind of in the middle of arcade and simulation because it's simulation in the sense of it's kind of uh, out in out. But it's arcade in that you want to drift it. You definitely do want to drift for this section and try to just let off 
instead of just try and let off the throttle. So that way in this game you carry more momentum sometimes when drifting and sometimes not. This is a situation where you do carry more momentum. So therefore you're going to drift. Start off, get close to the inside there. Naturally you'll be carried a bit outside just if you carry good speed. But ultimately by the end that would start carrying you closer to the inside there. And this is actually as close to the inside as you want to get because then you can get fully straight to get as close to the inside there as possible as well. I could get a maybe another foot more to the inside there, but realistically I don't think it's worth risking because that's actually not the most dangerous part where I paused initially. The most dangerous part is you can clip that wall that's actually really closer than that. Another foot and you'll be right there close to that wall. But even though here it looks like you can carry more of a wider line a little bit before you can't. So there's really no point in risking it. Even if you clip that wall that ruins your lap. For this turn it's sort of like last turn except that it's almost completely useful of throttle but not quite. AKA that's a situation in which you do want to just let off the throttle. Drift in a really high speed section to medium speed section or to lose a lot of speed. But a high speed section to another high speed section where you need to slow down a little bit only allow it off the throttle. Don't drift here. And then if you let off the throttle just enough that will carry you to the outside as you want to get. Grass is fine in that little bit, but it's probably just better to stay on the road overall. Because as I said, the scenery that ain't a road is pretty iffy in this game, so probably just stay on the road there, but get as close to the grass as possible. And then at this point your lap is pretty much over, just stay in the middle there. If you got your car going straight into that jump, you would be straight going across the line. And you know you have good momentum into there if you never touch anything you just jump across the line when your car is still in midair so there you have it folks that will be your lap and this was good enough to get me I really can't do quick math but good it's not my highest overall on the left side of numbers is because this was the very first event that literally everyone did who did the campaign mode but as a percentage, it's about as good as I'm going to get. Annoyingly, I can't actually see the leaderboards event by event, so I don't know who's ahead of me in Kentucky or how close I am to being it. And I can't actually see what the overall world record time is, unless it does happen to be on YouTube. But as far as I know, this is the only actual saying it out tutorial of these if you want me to do tutorials of laps that I don't have Trackmaster on, but like gold or whatever, I can, but honestly, it, most of them, if I get gold and I'm not all that close to Trackmaster, I kind of just end it there, and there's quite a bit more that I can get. So it's not really fully worth selling. The ones I get Trackmaster on, I go ahead and focus and do as good as I possibly can with them. But anyway, this was a well won, the very first event. There's 200 events total, but as I said in the review, there's no way I'm going to get to 200, and especially not track mastering all of them. There will be at least 12 more of these, but for now, this is a well won. I hope y'all enjoyed this and learned something from it. And if y'all know of any other tutorials where people say stuff out for Trackmania Turbo, put it in the description or something. And I will definitely do a video of something bad as well to like use a comparison between mine and that one. But as far as I know, I'm the only one, maybe. At least the only one that I've found. So hopefully this does help. And as always, yeehaw.